this is a quick overview of how you should construct your graphs for the seasons project. First, check that your instructor has approved your data. If they have, they will reply with their calculations for your solar elevation angles and number of daylight minutes. If they have not approved, they will give you instructions to borrow data from a previous semester. They will ask you to recognize the borrowing and cite the person who took the data for you. To create the graph for the solar elevation angle, copy over the dates in a left column and report the solar elevation angle in the right column. You do not need to report the elevation angle more than one decimal. If you are graphing in Excel, you select the data without the headers, go to Insert, Charts, Scatter. Click on the chart and it should bring up chart design. Go to Quick Layout, click on it and select the first one. Click on each of the boxes and then a second click until you see the cursor flash and change the titles appropriately. can get rid of the legend. If you are doing this on Google Sheets, you select the entire data set, including the headers, go to Insert, Chart, and switch to Scatter. This program will change the titles for you automatically. But if you need to, you can go to Customize and Chart and Access Titles to change it. Note that some software may select the default setting for the vertical axis starting from zero, which is inconvenient considering the narrow range of numbers. To make it more explicit for the reader, go to vertical axis and change the minimum and maximum display values. Repeat for length of daylight.
don't forget that when inserting these graphs into your project report, you still must provide a caption for each graph. 